Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Irfan and today we're going to start a series that I'm going to call Awful Hold on, give me a sec. Awful Drawing Tutorials or ADT for short. Uh yeah, these aren't gonna be proper art tutorials, like it's just like a guy drawing random characters from random media poorly. So it's not like professional art tips, it's not like good tutorial, it's certainly not going to change your life, and it's certainly not for money, this is like for fun only, so, and I'm not probably going to do this often, so, you know, I'm hoping to update every week, but we'll see what happens. Alright, for our first character that we're going to do an awful drawing tutorial on today, we have the number one Tumblr sexy man himself, Sans the Skeleton from Undertale. Um, he's the guy who does the puns and he's dating the former queen or something like that. Also, he's he's like the final boss and like the worst route of the game. So, that's fun and he's like really hard. Okay, so for all these awful drawing tutorials, you'll need like pen and paper. I'm using a notebook and pencil. you also want like an eraser and maybe a sharpener in case it gets unsharp. So... Yeah. Okay. Now on to the drawing tutorial. So as you can see, I have my notebook here. So now let's draw. Apologies if it's flat, but I couldn't find a uh, stand, proper camera stand for it. Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, yeah these videos aren't clearly supposed to be professional made. Like, I'm not even gonna try because you know it's just for fun. It's not the most serious thing. All right, so. Sands can be divided into three parts. Three. The head, the body and arms, and the legs. You gotta start top to bottom. So first, you gotta draw a oval shape for the head. Now, you might draw something like this as an oval shape. See, like this. Which is okay, but it's too flat for Sands. Even if he's like nihilistic he still has some personality so you want to draw it something more like like a rounded square but then that wouldn't work either so try somewhere in between you'll end up getting something like yeah okay give me a second always make sure to have an eraser on your pro tip number one this is important see okay so you get my thing here. You see the middle shape, the one that looks like a square? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Um, give me a sec. Sorry if you expected something more professional, but this is just for, like, fun. Just one second. Yeah, pro tip number two, use professional racer. And pro tip number three, always draw softly. Now then, see, I'm gonna trace this shape. Mm, good enough. Just have to adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to... That gives us more of a skull shape, which is good enough for me. Alright, we've done the head. Now for the eyes. First you draw two circles. And you want to draw two small pupils. Pro tip number four, this is not going to be in color, so remember that. And so I draw something like this. As you can see, I'm coloring the part that's not the pupil. It's because sand doesn't have pupils, so we've done that. I'm going to round off the head a little bit to make it better. D good enough. Don't be per pro tip number five, don't be a perfectionist. If you do 50% better than 0%. Next, you're gonna draw his permanent smile. So you wanna go something like this. Make sure you separate the individual teeth. He looks like a weird smiley. Finally, you draw an upside down small heart where his nose should be. And there you go. That's phase one completed. The head, not very good, but oh well. Next for the body, you want to draw a large rectangle, but 
with rounded corners. I've done mine a little too much, so you just gotta... Pro tip number six, always use a reference. I'm only doing this off of memory because I can. Because Sans, I've seen Sans so much times that I've practically memorized him. Okay. I'm going to make him shorter just because you know why. Pro tip number seven, life is not a speed paint. Take your time and make sure you get everything full. Alright, good enough. Now for the arms. First you want to make his hoodie. So, to do that, just draw one line on top. One line on bottom to make like a trapezoid shape. But instead of the sides, you're going to draw like a J on both sides. That should make that. Next, here you see these points. Yeah. Make them curve into his hoodie. And now you've still got some other points, so... Now that we've drawn his arms, you don't have to worry about doing his hands since he stands. He's too lazy for oh, man. Keep drawing. Continue. Yeah, continue. Sorry for the apologies. Hopefully you can see. If not, please tell me in the comments. Alright. That's the body done. Not very high quality, but I will. Finally, the legs. Draw two lines going opposite tries in a trapezoid shape. And you want to draw them inward like stickman legs. Then draw lines which are parallel, or almost parallel to the original lines. Should have something like this. If you have something like this, good. If not. Now it's time for the final part, the slippers. Uh, you gotta draw here and go here. You wanna go here, you draw here. These slippers look like a circle. Draw a little flat bit on the bottom with a circle here. And there you go, Sans Undertale, or at least a poorly made version of him. I'm just gonna erase the... At this point, the, your main priority should be to curve him. Try to restrict the face more and make him like more curvy. That way that makes him more seem more clearer. See, now it looks better. See, you've got two arms, hoodie, legs, state. If you want, you could also add, like, a little hat on him, because, you know, Ness is Sans thingy, but whatever, I'm not going to bother. Mm-hmm. Almost. Just got to fix the legs a little bit. If the legs don't line perfectly, that's okay. All right, and that's your final project. Now, the fingers were blocking it, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed, and maybe I'll come back next time. See you.